this is the mercury feed manometer. This is how you open it. You press the knob here gently, then it opens. Then you gently open it up, then apply a little pressure to stabilize it. Inside it contains some essential components necessary for the process. All right. So come. We have we have the blood pressure cuff. When we talk about the blood pressure cuff, this is the cuff. So all of this is the blood pressure cuff. The blood pressure cuff has an area that is inflatable and we call that inflatable area the the bladder and this is the bladder so you have the bladder here so you have it inside so you have your bladder here all right most often is a bladder side that we need to put in the anterior aspects of the hand or the inner aspects of the hand all right um, the mercury figmo manometer also comes with some other aspects. Again, you can see the tubings. These are the tubings. This is the ball. So this is the ball. You have a regulator here, pressure regulator. So before you start to inflate, you need to lock it up. Then when you want to reduce the pressure gradually, then you also you reduce it. So that is the regulator, and this is the ball used for the inflation of the bladder we are talking about. All right. Now, let's look at the mercury gauge. This aspect is called the mercury gauge. So from here to there, and you can see it comes with some calibra calibrations. So we have 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, up to 300. They all represent some measurements that are to be taken. Also, we have the on and off button. You see the on and off button? Before you start inflating your cuff, you put it on. After using, then you gently push it off. Here is the mercury port. This is the mercury port. That is where the mercury is going to come out and rise in the tube here. I mean the gate.